Well, hey everybody. Um, I wanted to document this because it is absolutely worthy of documenting. I'm just still so blown away from something that happened yesterday to me. Um, and I shared it with all of my students today because it's worthy. Um, so I wanted to, um, I mentioned something on my Facebook, but I wanted to share the story. I was in the Walmart parking lot yesterday in Roy City, and um, I was over there visiting my daughter and my grandkids and um, was shopping for some things for myself and for her. And I was reaching, I was in the parking lot reaching for the bags of groceries um, out of the cart and putting it into my car. and as I was reaching over and reaching into the cart to pull the bags out to put in my car, I hear someone say, excuse me, and I see legs coming toward me out of my peripheral vision, and at that split moment, I'm thinking, are they going to ask for food? Is there something I can spare in here? And i um, thinking, you know, ask for money. Maybe they want my cart. I didn't know. Um, so I was kind of bracing myself a little bit for the question and I look up and it's a young man and he immediately says, uh, you were my math teacher in eighth grade and I just wanted to tell you that you're a nice teacher. And it completely blew me away. And I just, I immediately said, well, my goodness, thank you so much for saying so. And, um, I wanted to remember his name, but you know, I've been teaching for almost 20 years and, and that's thousands and thousands of students. And, and I try, I really try, but most of the time I fail at remembering names from years prior. I mean, it's just, it's hard. And sometimes I'll remember, but he had changed so much that I just, it just did not trigger. And he saw that immediately. And he said, my name's Braden, by the way. And I said, well, thank you again so much. And, and he said, well, you're welcome. Have a great day. And then he walked away. And then I got in my car and, and I told my family about it. And it really, what struck me was not what he said, even though that was so kind. What struck me was his heart, his character. Now this, every once in a while, I'll see a student at the store and they're a little embarrassed, especially if they're with their folks. And um, will pass by and they'll say hi. Or it's a previous student and they'll say, oh, hi, Ms. Whitaker. And I'm so impressed when they remember my name from years. But he saw me from across a parking lot and he chose to intentionally walk toward me. So he's coming from the direction of the store. So he's coming farther out into the parking lot and he chose to come tell me that to simply bless me. And he did. I will never forget Brayden now. <laughs> I will never forget him. That heart and, and on the drive home, I, I couldn't help but be thankful for his parents raising a good kid who made a choice to intentionally bless a teacher from four or five years prior he had to be a senior or um, maybe first year college, but I'm guessing a senior, so maybe four years ago. And for him to intentionally come across a parking lot, he could have just said, oh, that's my teacher from four years ago. That's cool. And even had a good thought about me. That's cool too. But for him to choose to make a trip over to me to tell me that, just to be a blessing, man, what an impressive young man. And that's what I want for our students. So man, I, that's what I told my students today. I, I little teary eyed every time I shared it because I'm just so impressed with him. And again, I'll never forget him. But if they have an opportunity, I want them to take that opportunity to bless somebody and to be kind and to practice kindness like this young man did. And, um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm absolutely blown away. Parents, let's, let's raise our kids to be like that, that young man. Be like Braden. 
Hashtag be like Brayden. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'll never forget that. And uh, what a blessing. What hope I have for that generation. So thank you, Brayden. Thank you, parents of Brayden. And y'all go be kind. How awesome.